Good morning, Hero Wars fans. I'm sure you've received a notice from the management about the Halloween cosplay contest. You're going to expose yourself to the whole world for a totem? It's a great stage for those who want to show off, but I won't be participating. But the management of Hero Wars doesn't get it. If they use Tanya in this cosplay photo, people in Japan would buy a lot of emeralds, haha. <laughs> that said, if anyone is brave enough, they could try cosplaying as Elmir in this image. This idea would make cosplaying easier, since all you have to do is sit in front of a wooden table and wear a black mask, but I don't think this idea would win any cosplay contests. Well, today on the web PC version of Server 11, the team composition employing Tristan and Biscuit finally showed us by taking first place in the arena. For those of you who have invested in leveling up Biscuit and Tristan, your efforts may be rewarded. Also, with the addition of Galahad to this team composition, it may be time for Galahad to make his mark in Hero Wars. Speaking of which, what happened to Alvener? That said, just because he's placed on the defensive side of the arena doesn't mean he took first place in the arena with this team composition, so don't be overconfident, but I think you'll get a glimpse of how good Biscuit and Tristan are. From here on, you can actually see how my current team fights against this team formation. If you were a physical attack team and you took the fight to this Tristan team, you would have a very hard time. I tested the same battle with a team of only heroes without pets, and the result was a disastrous defeat for Kark's team, so I think you need to do something to challenge this Tristan team with a physical team. However, every team formation has its weaknesses, and by finding the weaknesses of the enemy team, you can win the battle. In my case, I won after about 8 attempts with maximum power, so I hope all the viewers, after watching this video, will do the same as I did and try to play against the Tristan team with maximum power. Now, looking at the recent trend of new pets and new heroes appearing in Hero Wars, I can see that the management is doing a good job of guiding the players. When playing campaign maps and pet adventures, it is effective to level up your physical attack team, but if you focus only on the physical attack team, you will not have a chance to use all 50 plus heroes. This is why Anvari was introduced to counter Kark, and why Corvus and Morrigan were created to counter Yasmin. Furthermore, the introduction of Isaac into Hero Wars as a countermeasure to the magic attack team forced gamers to extensively train their heroes, which is indicative of the administrator's intentions. Speaking of which, what happened to the Alvener known as Blessed? In the midst of all this, I feel that the management has added some very talented strategists to the team, such as the fact that they haven't forgotten to introduce a disappointing hero who could be considered a collection character. Nexters have also been released, which exudes motivation in a different way, haha. <laughs> hero Wars is content for fun from our gamers' perspective, but from Nexters' perspective, it's business. I hope that Hero Wars will grow to be a popular game while resolving this compromise. Now, while we're on the subject, it seems that some of the people who got Biscuit's Absolute Star have already finished leveling up the item. We can expect to see more Biscuit on the top teams in the arena in the future, but I can't sleep at night because I'm afraid of the trials coming to Kark's team, haha. <laughs> now, it's time for the video to end. If you've ever wondered how much money you needed to invest in a fully maxed out Biscuit, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.